Hey guys, I want to show you this uh, cool radio from Ready. Uh, my friends over at Ready Oddity turned me on to these radios and uh, sent me this cool radio. It's a, a shortwave AM FM weather band. Uh, it's a cool radio. Uh, you can see it comes with quite a bit of stuff. We'll start right here. We got the the strap that connects onto the top handles on it to carry it with a strap. It's got a little screwdriver and a cleaning brush. The screwdriver is to open up the battery cover. Uh, it uses a lithium ion battery that is the same as what goes in like a small flashlight. It comes with a, a very long clip on uh, and wire antenna, which <laughs> I have to research that a little bit to find out what the spring is for. Hope and I just popped it apart. <laughs> I bet you that connects back together easily though. Oh yeah, we'll have to research that though, find out what the spring is for. Also came with a, a nice little carry case for it, which that, that I kind of like. It's got a little handle and everything on it. Oop, and I just knocked out the, uh, the protectors. Comes with a set of earbuds with an extra set of uh, pads for the earpieces, a charging cable, and the instructions also uh, there's an app for your phone that you can put on put on your phone to control the radio and it comes with the complete instructions of how to set that all up I haven't done this yet but it has the at the full instructions of how to set it all up and nowadays with the little picture there oh it's so easy point your phone right at it and it brings you right to the website all right, let me bring you in closer, and we'll take a quick look at that radio and see what the radio has to offer us. All right, well, I got it on the weather band, because on the weather band, we can't get any uh, copyright issues. <laughs> this thing has great sound. I know it's not going to show for the... On, you won't be able to hear it on the camera, but... The, the audio on this thing is awesome. It's got... I'm not sure if it's a subwoofer or if it's just a passive radiator, but we have super bass speaker on it. Uh, for music, this thing is pretty nice. Uh, look at the back, too. You see the uh, the two lights up at the top? They change color. All right, let's go back to the face of it. We have on the screen uh, the signal strength. I believe that's what that is, is, is how strong the signal is coming in. And we have the audio meter up on the top. See, as, as he talks, that the LEDs on the top move. And the 35 represents how strong the signal is. We have a fine-tuned knob on the side. We give that a little turn, and as you see, as we get away from the station, that, that number is dropping. Let me get back to the station, and there it is, back up to 35 again. Let's turn that down. And you can see that it changes and shows you what your volume is set at. This radio is loaded with frequencies. Loaded. Let's turn that volume down. Oh, look at that. It actually goes to zero. All right. If we change the band... There we have the FM radio, the broadcast band, and VHF. And now if we go over here to the sub band and press that, it runs through all the different frequencies that are covered in that band, in that mode. Oh, that one does not. That one just has the one. But we have a coarse tuning here. That will move the frequency quick. We have fine tuning here. And in the, the face of the radio, we also have tuning buttons. This is just, this, this radio, oh my goodness, it goes everywhere. Look at all the, all the sub bands. And we have the air. You know, different places that that goes. Back to the weather band. 
Again, a weather band we can turn up because we won't get in any trouble for that one. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. All right. Highs now, I was noticing on this radio. Let me turn that volume back down again. On the side here, we have a bunch of ports. We have memory card for uh, playing whatever you have recorded on a card. We have the, the charge port for a USB-C. Headphone port down here. And an auxiliary port. I was thinking, where this thing has such great sound, wouldn't it be cool if my CB radio was hooked up to it? <laughs> so I brought a cord down. And we're going to try it. Let's see if this radio can be used also as an external speaker. It'll be giving the radio a band that it doesn't cover. <laughs> Alright, let's plug this thing in. And look, the screen automatically went to line. Oh, we got the volume down. All right, how cool is that? Let me move you over. Have my any tone running through this little ready, this little radio, and that actually sounds really good. All right, let me shut that off and unplug that. I just wanted to know if it would work. And, and look at that. It did. When we unplug the radio, it goes right back to uh, the weather band. Which we don't need to have that up. A lot, a lot of cool features in this radio. Uh, you can lock out the keypad on it. Uh, it has scan feature. I believe if you hold it. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. I could be wrong. Maybe it just won't do it on the weather band. There we go. Yeah, it's just, I was on the weather band. It's not going to scan through. But you can set it to scan. And I believe you can also have it go down if you want. Yeah. If you hold the down button, it'll do. It'll just scroll through the frequencies running down. The up button will send it up, and then any of the controls will. Any of the channel buttons, the two knobs, either one will stop it from scanning. Now I was playing with it earlier, and I had. If you give the fine tune knob just a quick little spin, it will scan to the next available. Or the next uh, in use frequency, also. See, it, it keeps stopping on its own. It's like winding it up. <laughs> it, has a, it has the little indent in it. <laughs> you can put your fingernail right in there and, and give it a spin. And if you give it that quick little spin, it puts it into scan mode again. Uh, it also has a clock on it. Let's bring that to a stop, shut it off. And right now we're set in the 24 hour. Oh, no. Well, we're in the. I take that back. We're in the. Uh, I thought I was saying AM. It's uh, 1 30 in the afternoon right now. Uh, you can bring that back easily. You can bring the clock back uh, with the power button or the, the flashlight button, which I'll show you that now. On the side of it, it has a flashlight. It also has a siren if you hold that button, but I'm not going to do that because it's uh, a little too loud. I <laughs> Just take my word for it. Press and hold that button. All right. All right. I'll do it. Hopefully we can shut it off quick. <coughs> yes. <laughs> it makes the light flash and makes that loud siren. <laughs> and can we see that? Uh Oh, we're not on. That's why. Press the power button again and the radio comes on. Alright guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up. 
This is the uh, the Ratty. It's an RF320. I'll leave, in the description. I'll leave a a link to where you can purchase one of these for a small radio. I mean, you see, it fits in my hand. This thing has got incredible sound. I've been using it a lot. I've already got about uh, also about four hours of runtime. I don't know what the battery is rated for, but I've had this radio on for over four hours, probably closer to five hours now on a charge. And it's still showing a full charge on that screen. Isn't that fantastic? All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.